Khloe Kardashian has anxiety about leaving True to go back to work while we have anxiety over the real reason she forgave cheating Tristan Thompson. Oh, and Kendall Jenner and Ben Simmons have an awkward run-in whilst out on the town last night. And Kylie Jenner revealed this about Stormy on Twitter. We're talking about all of these things right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> Happy Friday, you guys. Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Chanel Herlin. The first thing we are talking about is Khloe Kardashian because today is a big day for her. Mm -hmm. She is headed back to work for the first time since having True and she's kind of struggling with the notion of leaving her for a full day, which is totally understandable. Yeah, for sure. Yesterday, Chloe took to her Snapchat to discuss her feelings about leaving True. She said that she has missed a few feedings with her little one here and there, but she's never gone a full day without wow. being with True, which is pretty sweet. Um, she's like, I love our routine that we've gotten in, and I just have anxiety about leaving her. And she also apologized to her sister Courtney for any previous judgment, which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. She's like, girl, I feel you now. And then early this morning, she posted this on her Snapchat. She wrote, first day back at work since having True. I'm anxious to leave True, but also eager to get back to work now that I have a new push and motivation. It's not just me anymore. Yeah, I think it's adorable. I think Chloe's such a good mom mm -hmm. already. Like, we, we see in this how she doesn't want to leave a little baby. Yes. I think she's knowing everything she's just had to deal with is really handling everything so well and maybe mm -hmm. getting back to some kind of working schedule will also right. help her just deal with all this drama that's going on right now. Yeah, a little normal normalcy. Yeah. Um, we told, like, exactly what you said, totally get her anxiety and that's how we feel about her reasoning for taking Tristan back. So basically since the whole scandal happened, we've gone back and forth trying to rack our brains. Why would Chloe forgive him? This whole time we've thought it essentially had to do with True, which made sense, you know, she wanted her baby to have two parents that were together, but a source recently revealed to In Touch that the reason Chloe took mercy on Tristan was not because of True, but because she wants to add to her little family. A source told In Touch Weekly, quote, she wants another baby with Tristan, that's really why she forgave his cheating. Terrible idea, right? I know, I left you speechless. I, I never I'm happened. literally <laughs> speechless. Yes. So she's only staying with this man because now she wants baby number two. Supposedly, that's what this source is saying, which I can wow. see it a little bit just because Chloe no. was so, no, I see the truth behind this because okay. Chloe was so big on wanting children with Lamar. That was, you know, her main focus, her main priority. She couldn't get pregnant. She finally did get pregnant with Tristan. She has true. And we know that being a mom is something she's always yeah. dreamed of. So I feel like she sees Tristan as kind of like the one who holds the key. Obviously, he... Got her pregnant once before. Yeah. He could probably do it again. Lamar couldn't do the deed. So she wants to hang on to him for that reason. Wow, that's a little... Um, I just think it's a terrible idea. I think it's a shocking idea. <laughs> that's not going to work. No, I'm like, it didn't work for the first kid. We're basically just kind of like buying time until he screws up again. Oh. And I don't think another baby Chloe. needs to get thrown into that mix. No. No. Anyways. All right, let's move on to Kendall because <laughs> I know. Devastating news now. I know, I know. Are you going to recover? I, I, I might. You might after this. <laughs> so last night, TMZ caught Kendall and Ben Simmons leaving a club in West Hollywood just minutes before Tanache, a.k.a. Ben's ex. So you guys know there's a lot of drama between Ben, Tanache, and Kendall because Tanache's brother claims that Ben cheated on his sister with Kendall Jenner. Remember that whole thing? That was a yes. big thing. When this all went down, a source told, told Radar Online that uh, Kendall, quote, knew damn well that Ben and Tanache were together, and she told her sisters that she doesn't care because she will always get what she wants. <laughs> I, okay. I can see Kendall saying that, though. Like, I she's got too. that, like, sassy little side to her that I can yeah. totally see her saying she's that. She's the silent, sassy one, Yeah, you know? Um, so you can see why Kendall and Ben being in the same place at the same time as Tanache could definitely get a little awkward. Very clearly. awkward. Clearly. TMZ can't confirm that the three hung out inside, but they did catch Ben and Kendall leaving around 12.25, and Tanache left minutes later at around 12.30. So they were mm. definitely there at the same time. Who De knows what went down? Definitely not hanging out, though. That's for, for sure. sure. But awkward, walking past, eye contact, yeah. that definitely you went down. You know some depth, like side eye yeah. and some whispers were definitely happening. Or if they're wearing sunglasses in the club, you can yeah. very easily check out what's happening. Yeah, especially those little ones like, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, it appeared that Tanasha was trying to keep it together in front of the camera. She told TMZ that things were, quote, cool with Ben. However, I found that very hard to believe. Like, I don't know any woman who'd be cool with seeing her ex-boyfriend with the girl he cheated on no. you with anywhere. Yeah, she's Especially just Especially in a cool club where cameras. cameras are outside and everyone's staring at yeah. you. Tanache, I appreciate you trying to 
keep it together, but girl, it's okay. We know what's really going on. <laughs> we get it. We get it. Okay, last but not least, we've got to end our Friday with Kylie because she revealed a lot of random things about herself during her latest Q&A session with fans on Twitter. Um, like the fact she hasn't seen Bella Thorne's new movie, Midnight Sun, because she's not ready to cry. I haven't seen it either. I so. haven't seen it either. I guess we're right there along the Yeah. <laughs> we're on the same page, girl. She also <laughs> let fans know that that orange palette, you're going to be happy about this, uh -huh. that she used during her Vogue makeup tutorial, oh. she is going to release that soon. Oh, no. I don't actually have any Kylie products. I did go to the Kim Kardashian pop-up and yes. got some contour highlight kit. Yes. So maybe this will be the Kylie maybe one I purchased. Really, Chanel's really good at makeup. <laughs> I am not, so. Maybe, you, oh, maybe we can get that and then you can teach me. Love it. Love it. Do you okay. guys want to see that? Let yes, us know. Exactly. Uh, Kylie also filled us in on her favorite TV show at the moment, which is Handmaid's Tale. Oh, agreed. Have you watched that? Oh, I, I love it. Oh, I, I love season one, and then I tried to watch season two, and that show gives me way too much anxiety. Oh, Lucy, I'm totally different. Season one, I was like, okay, the whole time until the very last episode, and I was like, Oh, I cannot okay. wait for season two. No. Season two, I'm hooked. I'm like, I need to watch something like The Office that takes my brain <laughs> off of what is doomsday that's probably happening. Okay, so now, as much as you guys, I'm sure, love hearing us chat about our experience with Handmaid's Tale and Kylie's, we know you're actually here for what she said about Stormy, mm -hmm. because let's be honest, Stormy details take precedence over TV shows and movies and what we're doing. Um, when a fan simply asked Kylie how Stormy is doing, she responded saying, changing almost every week now it seems like she has the cutest personality. Sweet. So she's growing up so fast. I can't believe it. She's already gonna be one here soon. Like, well, not for a while. It's like seven more months. But still. Yeah, but I mean, I remember hello, she it's was July. born. Yeah, she was born just yesterday. Like, yeah. how is this happening? But Kylie's definitely loving every minute of it. Um, Kylie Stormy's Kylie Stormy's details. Hello, that was a mouthful this Friday. Clearly, I am ready for the weekend. <laughs> Her fans were still wanting pictures of Stormy, essentially. They were begging her to end her no Stormy on social media rule, which you guys know she's implemented for a while now. Yeah. So they were like, that's great that she has a personality, but, but we want to see, see a it. picture. Let's see it. She kind of broke the rule earlier this week on Snapchat, uh -huh. but still nothing like she used to post. So fans are going to have to keep waiting Or just keep that. pushing her to keep yeah. back at us. <laughs> just keep hammering her on Twitter. She might give in. Yeah. All right, you guys, let us know what you think about all of these stories. What do you think about Khloe Kardashian having anxiety about leaving Tri to go back to work and the real reason she forgave Tristan Thompson? Are you shocked like us? Um, what do you think about Kendall Jenner and Ben Simmons and that awkward run-in they had with Tinashe? And last but not least, what did you think about Kylie Jenner saying, little Stormy has a personality already. <laughs> Talk it out down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys here next time on Holly Scoops Daily Rewind. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>